but you know, I looked at healthcare, um, I looked at uh, financial services, uh, I looked at uh, agribusiness, you know, ag. Um, and what was striking in all of those, from just sort of a cursory, some research that I did, you know, over the last couple of years, is they all have the same architecture. They all hoard data, mm -hmm. they all don't share it laterally, mm -hmm. and they all are extracting capital from it for the benefit of their shareholders, not for the benefit of society. That if we just let the data flow in an environment that is regulated uh, not by either a you know, oligarchic company or by the government per se, but by us. Yeah. With a environment of trust, safety, security, privacy built in, the things that could happen would be extraordinary. Um, and so I've been writing a series of pieces with examples of those, right? Um, you had this great image of a bunch of valves that you right, control right, and right, yeah, right. give to researchers more data, get right, paid for that data. Right, yeah. right. And it's, so people often obsess, and, and right now they are, because people are so, as, I, as we were discussing earlier, people are so sort of woke to the power of data, right? Uh, your privacy is imperiled. You're not getting paid. If you're not getting paid or if you're not paying, you're the product, right? Everyone's sort of woke to the power of data. So there's a lot of obsession on, well, my data should be worth something. I should get paid. I think that's the wrong thing to pay attention to. It's not payment, it's value. Yeah. And how much value could we unleash for society if what could be known is knowable?